especially during the winter months, if you're on reserve especially, because you don't know where you might get called to. I've been doing this for a while, and even I look at my expenses and I'm like, girl, you need to pack your food. The sun is about to set, and so am I. And on that note, good night. Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we are starting a three day trip and we end up in San Juan, Puerto Rico tonight. Not even tonight, today. So it is four, I'm sorry, it is 3.09 a.m. Our report time is at 4.02 a.m. So it's an early day. I don't know how I got so lucky to start the new year off with such an early report time. But your girls got it and that's what we're gonna do. But it's only one leg today, so we should get there fine we should get there around 8 57 that's what the schedule landing but who knows we might get there early which is great more time by the pool um, we have a nice longer layover here we leave out tomorrow at five so another early report i just saw this i never look ahead because i'm always like trying to get surprised I don't know how many people we have on today's flight, but we're flying on our 321 and it holds 200 passengers. I'm assuming relatively full because usually all of our flights to San Juan are full. So we'll see when we get there as far as the flight time and all of that. But we are looking at a nice early day um, since we're starting early. So I will see you guys when we get to the airport. checks um we are briefed by our captain and our flight time is going to be two hours and 40 minutes so uh, there's that we have 192 people on board with us today so out of 200 so it's a full one i knew it and we do have standby so i'm sure it's going to go out with a full 200 i am as per usual working as the three position so on this plane i sit over here let me show you in that little way I know I've showed this plane before I've got my little bag and everything spread out but I sit over here this will be my jump seat for the day of course amongst the customers <laughs> but that's okay so once we get to San Juan I will talk to you guys then when we get to the hotel and get settled so I'll see you guys soon So we made it we are in puerto rico and it is it's a nice day it's 80 degrees and the humidity is low when we got here usually on the aircraft it is boiling hot and you know it just wasn't that so i'm i'm loving puerto rico in january it's definitely a great place to come vacation when you are trying to escape the winter um, everywhere else but it's perfect so the sun shiny i can't wait to get out of these clothes and go by the beach first we are going to go work out um me and one of the girls that i'm working with we want to do that first and then we're going to go to the beach or lay by the pool or whatever so that's the that's on the agenda for today um like i said we're here pretty much all day it's 9 40 so we have all day we do have an early report tomorrow our van is picking us up at 4 30 so that means we gotta get up at 3.30, which means I need to be asleep early again tonight, which should be no problem because I didn't really sleep that well last night, so I will definitely wanna go to sleep early tonight. Um, with that being said, I will talk to you guys when we get back from the gym and before we go to the beach. So we're all back from the gym 
and it's time to go down and get some of this sunshine I'm gonna have one of my protein shakes for lunch I guess because it's already 11:23. so and I didn't eat because when you're <laughs> when you get up that early like I'm just not I'm hungry I had a coffee and then that's it so this is what we're having for lunch and then I guess for I'll bring some snacks I have some uh, an apple and I have some mango that'll be my snack on the beach so I will see you guys sorry you can hear the, the airplane anyway I will see you guys when we get down to the beach so we're all set got my cold water what else do I have in here my little beach bag I don't know I think I got this from Sephora or something of course the mango which is crazy expensive for this amount of mango three dollars you could get like five mangoes for that anyway this is what it has the tahini and the um little hot sauce of course I got my fanny pack this time I learned but I have my wallet oh I need to pack my wallet and uh an apple I need to wash that off first so oh and my fan you guys know how I am about my fan it's gonna be hot got your girl's gotta have her fan so there's that I'll see you guys at the beach We're back in the room. <laughs> uh, the beach was nice. It was so relaxing. Could have taken a nap, but I didn't. It wasn't too hot. It was just a really nice day, but I'm exhausted because if you remember, we had a super early day and um, yeah, it's time to go to bed. The sun is about to set and so am I. I'm gonna leave my eye patches on for a little bit more, probably another two minutes. Um, and then we're gonna eat our dinner because I have it heating up right now and then chill for an hour or so and then call it a night what time is it now it's 5 14 now so I hope to be in the bed by like 6 I'm actually heating my food up in my hot logic I'm gonna show you so I have my hot logic I love this thing I recommend it especially to anybody who's new um, and you're meal prepping or anybody 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 if you want to have a hot meal for dinner lunch whenever you're gonna be in your hotel room and you don't feel like going downstairs to um, microwave anything this is the way to go I love it I put it in it's gonna be nice and hot when I am done getting ready for the night it's perfect um, I like to use this especially versus a microwave when I'm having um, salmon or any type of cooked meat or anything like that because it doesn't dry it out. It's like a little oven. It's so good. Hey guys good morning so we are heading downstairs Ooh, let me get myself together we're heading downstairs and I am rushing a little bit but there's really no need to because I've been getting notifications all night that were delayed <laughs> we're delayed for about an hour and a half and it's 4 24 in the morning our flight was supposed to leave at 6 so now we're not leaving till like 7 30 and uh I don't know exactly why yet because I didn't do all that research but been up since 345 I'm sorry 335 and then yeah I tried to 
get as much sleep but the alarms kept going off or the notifications kept going off and I kept waking up and I just snooze 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 too much and now I'm rushing but I am just checking in with you guys today is going to be a longer than expected day but sometimes you gotta roll with the punches I will check in with you guys when we get to the airport again we're going San Juan to Tampa and then Tampa to Newark so um, and of course we're keeping the same plane so the one to Newark is delayed too so I'll keep you posted on how the day goes alright guys so we made it down to the plane it's now 6.53 the plane got here probably like 40 minutes ago then they had to do a security check and and all that so now we are just waiting for a maintenance issue to be completed and then we'll be on our way to Tampa. Um, we haven't gotten the flight time just yet. The pilot's still waiting to get the information so once he does that he'll let us know but as of right now the sun's already coming up. <laughs> We're already supposed to be able to our original time. Think about yeah, so our original departure was about an hour ago, 5.50, so right now it's still, I don't know exactly when we're going to leave because I don't know how long the maintenance issue is going to take, so with that being said, once we get that information back to us, I'll let you guys know. And of course it's just a trickle effect because we're going on to Newark and this plane is clearly, we're taking it to Newark, but yeah. We're supposed to get finished today with our day at 11.52 a.m. That's not going to happen. So probably closer to like 2 o'clock, I'd say. Maybe later. I don't know. Hopefully not too much later because I wanted to just like walk around, get some fresh air, cold air, clearly. But anyway, I will keep you guys posted with what happens for the rest of this morning and this flight. And I'll come back and let you know the flight time. It is going to be a full flight if you didn't know that. actually a beautiful day I haven't been to Newark in so long and I remember <laughs> I was here all of summer 2022 and I couldn't I couldn't take it anymore but I actually kind of missed it it's a nice day it's a beautiful day actually so uh, we're thinking about taking a nice walk and there's a mall and your girl likes to just look I browse I browse a lot sometimes I leave with stuff sometimes I don't but we're gonna go walking <laughs> we're gonna go take a walk outside and then we're also gonna go to the mall and it was a great day although we were delayed it was about an hour and a half behind and we were supposed to get in at hold on we were supposed to get in at 11.52, so we are behind, it's 2.41 right now, so it's fine, not that big of a deal. Um, it's, the weather's nice, it says it's about, I can tell you now, it says it's 43 degrees, so I did bring some, you know, a jacket and some clothes. We'll be warm, and I'm sure once the sun sets, it's going to get a little bit chillier. Tonight, it says it's going down to 28 degrees. And that is just something that I always like as a tip to newer flight attendants who are coming out onto the line and then also who are applying for the job. Just something to know, like 
you especially on reserve you don't know where you might be going so you kind of have to pack extra like you're going to pack something for a warm climate you're going to pack something for a cooler climate to, but luckily when you get a line like I do you can prepare and pack like I knew that I was going to be in San Juan I'll need you know warmer or clothes for warmer weather and then I knew that I was going to be here in Newark where it is chillier so I knew to pack my cold um, weather clothing so it can be a little tedious because you know your girl sometimes forgets to pack a lot of stuff in general but I took this time and I actually packed what I needed in order to make sure that I can if I wanted to venture out and or stay inside which is sometimes when it's super cold outside snowing nasty I make a day my own little spa day in the hotel so I don't even really care or worry about what I have packed but in the event that I'm working with friends or I want to just go out and I, you know, get some fresh air, I want to make sure that I have something. So my tip to you is when you are packing for your first couple trips, if you're new and or, you know, fairly new to the line and or um, on reserve, pack something that can be versatile. Maybe get those plush um, packable jackets that kind of zip down i'll show you i have one at home and i'll i'll put it on the screen it's like a foldable jacket you can put it in your bag and then you don't have to worry about it keep that in your bag especially during the cooler months january february all of that keep one in there just in case you end up somewhere and you want to go out with your crew um and then always pack a bathing suit because i did that before in my fort myers um vlog and i forgot my bathing suit so i really couldn't you know venture into the water but that's just my little tip to you always pack for the weather because you know you never know where you're gonna be you never know where you're gonna go unless you have a line of course you plan ahead and that goes for food too for food prepping which is I'm trying to get better at that this year um, packing my food in advance I did pack last night and you guys saw that I did make my own food and I ate it from home but I didn't pack enough I only made enough for last night and the night before when I was at home so we are going to get some food today but that's not always the case I would like to get better at cooking and having food for each day of my trip just to save money um, save you time because you never know if you're going to be delayed and you're not going to be able to get food especially when you are um, delayed and you're coming in super late at night some restaurants aren't open Uber Eats may not be available and you may not want to eat at the hotel I'm telling you especially when you're starting off food can be expensive and you don't want that to be an expense that you're having to come out of pocket for when you're you know coming out onto the line I don't even I've been doing this for a while and even I look at my expenses and I'm like girl you need to pack your food anywho I'm gonna get out of this uniform and we are gonna get changed and head out so we're back we actually already went to the mall of course I changed from my uniform and we're back in the room and of course I forgot you guys I didn't take you with me but it was just going to the mall we walked around a little bit and we went to Sephora so we didn't stay too long try to find some shoes in Foot Locker couldn't find anything so we're gonna take another little walk the Sun is setting which is it feels so much later than what it really is it's only 456 so it's still relatively early so we're just gonna walk around for a little bit and then we're gonna come back and um I think I'm gonna order room service because I see that they have room service here so I might treat myself to some room service and um you can have them send up a, a robe and I don't have like a good fluffy one so I'm gonna see what they have and then we're just gonna relax because tomorrow we have an early an early morning but not as early but early enough and I bought like a face mask from Sephora so we'll be doing that um so we're gonna get out of here and go take a little walk forget something something every time but it's okay um we're making it it's a nice walk it's a nice night but it is cold and we're trying to find a nice little view but i don't know how people they're running around with their dogs and stuff and i feel bad for the poor dogs i'm sure they love it but it just seems cold to me like freezing freezing <laughs>
So we made it, it was a little bit of a walk, but look at this view. Oh my goodness. It was worth it in the cold. I think that's the Empire State Building over there. You can see it way in the back. But yeah, it was worth it. It wasn't that bad of a walk. All right, it's time to start heading back. It's getting dark. <laughs> So we made it back to the hotel room. It was a cold walk, but it was worth it. That view was something special. I think we're calling it a night. I am going to take a shower and relax. I'm gonna do the face mask that I bought from Sephora. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna order some room service or maybe do that while I'm waiting for my room service. I don't know, but I feel like treating myself tonight. So we're gonna do that. It is 6 a.m. and we have about 15 minutes before we have to be downstairs um, for our shuttle to the airport. And today is our long day. <laughs> we are going down to Orlando and then from Orlando we're going to Costa Rica and then back to Orlando and then we're done for the day. So it seems like simple and it pretty much is, but it's a long day. So. We are gonna get some coffee from the airport and try and rev us up, give us some energy, all of the above. Um, last night was really nice and the Prosecco was delicious, of course, perfect nightcap. Um, but yeah, today, again, it's just gonna be a really long day, but I'm staying positive and it's going to be great. I woke up to no notifications, so we're on time. Looks like the plane's there already, so we're already off to a good start, so we love that. But I will check in with you guys once we get to the airport. Hey guys, so we are down on the aircraft and um, the captain let us know that it's going to be 2 hours and 13 minutes. It's a full flight. We're booked to 1.55 and we have 11 standby, so she's going to be full. Um, once we get to Orlando, I'll definitely check in with you guys. We actually switch aircrafts and it's going to be the same type, but we're switching and then we go to Costa Rica. So I will see you guys when we get there.
we actually went down to duty free got some candy and a little pick me up we got some uh, espresso shots and then they give you little coffee beans to taste and those are actually with uh, flavor inside and they're uh, you know have chocolate on the outside so good I got a few packs of those to give some to some friends they're really good so um, after that we're gonna head on back to Orlando and it's our last leg of the day of this trip it's been a great three-day trip my whole crew is wonderful I love them I'll work with them ten times again but we had a good time unfortunately we don't get to stay but going out to duty free getting off the aircraft is more than enough especially on a long day when you have more than just the one leg so we're making the best of it we got a little pick me up to get us through the last leg i don't have the flight time just yet um we haven't been briefed by our new set of pilots but as soon as we do i'll let you know i know it is going to be like 127 people coming back with us um, we do have to clear customs so your girl has to eat her apple and uh yeah that'll be my second apple for the day and we're gonna start boarding so i'll talk to you guys later Hey guys, so it is the next day in the evening and we finished our trip. It was a great trip, great crew. I had an amazing time from the pilots to the crew that I was working with, amazing. That's really what makes a great trip. Um, nothing else to report except I think the last thing you probably saw was we were going around in the duty-free area and I did pick up some snacks Not the trip was perfect and I'm so glad I got to take you guys with me uh, To San Juan and to Newark. We tried some different places, but I know in the beginning of the vlog I was talking about how you have to kind of pack for both winter and for basically heat uh, summertime wear if you will and I mentioned about having like a packable jacket. This one I actually got from Primark many years ago. And it's probably what, 10 bucks, maybe with inflation, 15, 20 now. But if you are based in Boston or wherever they may have a Primark, go and get you a cheap one of these so you can keep it in your bag, especially during the winter months, if you're on reserve especially, because you don't know where you might get called to. You might get called to go to San Juan for three days. You might get to go to New York for three days. I don't know, but you always wanna make sure you have something. So make sure you keep a jacket with you just so that you can go out and enjoy your layovers if you choose to do so. Uh, you wanna make sure you have something to keep you warm because it's easy to forget. I forget all the time. I never keep a bathing suit in my bag and you know, I'm gonna be the person who tells you guys at a later time that I got stuck in Aruba and I didn't have a bathing suit so I had to spend an arm and a leg in the souvenir store just to have a bathing suit to go out and relax in. So I'm trying to be better this year and packing a little bit for both weathers, especially for the climate, you know, we're in the winter months. So I go from up north to down south, laying over, I will have to pack a little bit extra. So just a tip from me to you, if you're just starting out, you're a new flight attendant, try to have the best of the both worlds so that you can go out and enjoy your layovers and get the, you know, to see the world the way that you intend to. That being said, if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you stick around. I'd love to have you. And if you're returning, thank you so, so much for being here. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them below and go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.